CBS Sports presents NCAA basketball. Today's game between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Missouri Tigers live from the Checker Dome in St. To the Checker Dome in St. Louis, CBS continuing their coverage of NCAA basketball. The fourth ranked Tar Heels of North Carolina against the 13th ranked Tigers of Missouri. Far back, Michael Jordan. He was the ACC Rookie of the Year. Well, Michael's a great leaper, an outstanding outside shooter. He's gotten a little bigger this year. There you see him in a backdoor move. Got a 42-inch vertical leap. Can play with anybody at almost any position. And then at center, the All-American Sam Perkins. Well, Sam is a, a great inside performer. This year, of course, he'll have to pick up a lot of the load that James Worthy had inside. He's a great leaper, fine defender, has excellent hands. Missouri and the guy that's a quarterback of this ball club, Gar John Sunball. Well, John Sunball, an excellent backcourt performer, has made a lot of preseason All-American teams, has great quickness, excellent ball handler, and a beautiful perimeter shooter. And the guy that they call the greatest center in the history of Missouri, Steve Stefanovich. Well, this is supposed to be the year of the centers, Gary, around the nation, and Steve certainly is up there among the very best. Here you see him ripping off a rebound. He plays every aspect of the game very well. A very solid player inside. And all big games. A one-point loss to the University of Houston. You know, Gary, this court means a little something, too, in college basketball history. I can remember UCLA going up against Indiana at the start of the 76. Perkins at 6'9", but he plays like he's 7'2", with those long arms. And Stepanovic on the Sun Bowl. John Sun Bowl wrestler who had some knee trouble. Missed one year when he started to get some of that fluidity back. He likes that turnaround jumper inside. On this car heel team. Now you can see Stepanovich double team on Perkins. He let Doherty go completely. I think what you're going to find is Norm Stewart's going to save him. It's 2-2 on that jumper by Perkins. Stepanovich. And we have traveling against Missouri. That'll turn it over. In St. Louis. Sunbolt. Inside, get next to the position. Jones on the move, and he's fouled. Michael Jordan commits a personal foul. He blocked out. You can see the cast on Jordan's wrist. This got the bottom a little bit. This is real quickness here. Are they going to count that basket? You're going to see good quickness here. Here you go. There's the foul committed right there. This basket should not have counted. Wasn't even close. Well, he got it. Peter was concerned about those, whether his stamina would allow him to bring it up every time. He wanted Dressler to help. Stepanovich, use the left hand. Beautiful move inside. Depot already was six points. Of course, with Prince Bridges out, Sunball has to carry a lot of the duty. Here's a great move. Puts it up with the left hand. Gets fouled. Great play. Second foul on Michael Jordan. Oh, another three-point possibility here for the Tigers early. Missouri is now 5-5 five five from the field. Give you the idea how effective they've been. This is Brad Doherty. He's 6'11", 235, a freshman from Black Mountain Climb last year. He only shot 43%, but he's trying to change his form, but it doesn't look like it helped him too much. I watched him yesterday, Gary, and of course he's got a lot by the ball well. Here's Dressler. Nice move. Great move. Again, another guy using the left hand. Mark Dressler, boy, if he could have that story he's doing here very well. Here's Dressler coming up there. Watch it. He goes by Doherty, lays it up with the left hand. Great shot off the board. Gary, point out down the other end of the court. If a team's going to... This is a veteran Missouri team. On the other end, North Carolina, only one senior. Dressler now might get the high end. He's capable of that. Well, remember what he did against Notre Dame a few years ago. Got 32 in the playoffs and put the Irish right out of it. Believe it or not, Missouri is 7-7 seven seven from the field. There's Jordan now. There's that might give him some confidence. Well, there's a perimeter shot, even though Jones is playing him pretty tough on the back. And it in themselves. Beautiful pass. Dressler, Stepanovich. Against Yugoslavia, Kaplan had seven assists. Offensive play right here. Look at those long spot. arms of Perkins. Missouri scores here. And then, and the basket of county has been fouled. The foul on Braddock. The momentum is really swinging Missouri's way, and North Carolina's got to get some people out of there. Great play by Missouri. Sunbold, his brother, Mike.
George Stewart's assistant. There he is. Smart player. That's eight points now for John Hale. Off to Bradley. Michael Jordan again. Nice work. That's that great leaping ability that he has. Jones is quite a smart play that time by Hale, realizing there's nobody to pass to. Third turnover now against the sophomore. He played in junior college ball last year. This is Moody on the baseline. Oh, they said he's going to take Ricky Frazier's place, and he put it the best for thing for that. He averaged 21 points. Here's Moody now. Really came well to the ball that time because Sunball was double teamed. Moody goes in, uses the left hand, goes right in among the trees, puts it up. Great inside play. So he checks in and does the job from 19 feet away. And also the 30 second shot. Wrestler wide open. Yes, sir. That's the second wide play by Moody. He felt the double team. Ship last year. Good move. The Panovic. Jordan fell asleep. Panovic without experience. Goal right. Now coming for Jordan. Michael Jordan. Freshman All-American. The ACC Rookie of the Year. Jones is a high school center at 6'4". He played against Stepanovich in high school. Now, we've got somebody. I think Stepanovich has a cut. I noticed they're doing well with it. I understand he still has a cane. Perkins. Stavener got a little tired. Didn't get any help that time for the backside. Now, North Stavener getting a little tired. Starting to make some mistakes. Five turnovers now. And Missouri will ask for a time. Buzz Peterson coming in, replacing Hunter. Sunbold, pretty, <laughs> pretty good play. Missouri needed that. They've got a long ways without scoring. That's 10 points for Sunbold. And the first half has come to a close. Missouri leading North Carolina by five. The score will continue after this word from your local station. Virginia Commonwealth, last night, Ralph and the top-ranked Cavaliers blew away Johns Hopkins 124 to 60. Sampson was rebounding, he was setting up the break, he was coming back underneath, and he was also able to reject five shots. Now he has worked out with weights, as I reported earlier, during the offseason, and he has never looked outside. And for Guy Lewis, the 500th victory of his fabulous career down there with the Cougars. And he's also got Akeem the Dream down inside, and Drexler takes the pass and puts it in, and they... And we're just about ready for the second half of play. Missouri, who led by as many as 11 in the first half, had that whittled down to five. They hit only gold. Pretty good balance. They've used a lot of people. They came into that big blue lineup that you're talking about, and look at the one-two punch. That's what you expect. That's the two guys we talked about at the top of our show. The Panovic and Dressler out of there. Dude, and coming in is Barry Laurie, one of the six foot one seniors. He only played in three games last year. Down to three. There's that baseline that they give up. Saw the quickness of Jordan, but Stepanovich, good move. You can give up that baseline to get some people back. It's been phenomenal. This is the lineup that I would expect North Carolina to use as the season. Perfect. This is the lineup that played so well at the start of the second half against St. John. Jordan now was settled into Stepanovich. Move on Perkins. Kavaner. I think Gordy got a piece of that move. Good soft shot by Stepanovich. Perkins has been able to slow. There it is. Good right away. Warren. The pull up for that jump shot. That's a tough shot. He's very good at pulling up on that jump around the break. Stepanovich now have both. Good movement, good ball passing, and this time to Stepanovich. Now you see Missouri concentrating a little bit more. They were... Both wow. these teams have been plagued by problems injury-wise. Tough ball. shot, tough shot. Boy, he was, he really had himself set for the... Stadler again with the ball. He hits the open man beautifully. Ah, boy, they move down. Didn't he? Stepanovich, 16 points. And Scott, a big freshman at 6'11", has been ruled out. He cannot play basketball. Anymore. Virginia, North Carolina State, and North Carolina. They that play remains it. to be seen. Probably the toughest schedule that Missouri's ever had. Here's a guy that came this afternoon. Well, that was the thing that really hurt North Carolina last week. Three, three bad shots. Corey, nice face. to go with guys like Laurie. He may be able to answer the call for him. Perkins. Abner got out of position that time. 
workers are now, I'm sure, trying to go to work. The alternation stays as it was. So they alternate every held ball. This time, Carolina has been close to first Boy, what a touch. Eight minutes, 26 seconds left. Jordan inside. The basket will count, but it's going to be a foul on you. Got to be careful. Missouri needs him in a ball game. Back door, Sunbowl. Sunbold will miss. You know, we were talking about that earlier. He gets it. 83% for the entire year. That's a 31 games, really. That's amazing, isn't it? Boy, he's not hitting him hit center, but he's getting them, and those were big free throws. Here we see it right here. There's Laurie. Holding his ground. Jordan came into it. The defense. Well, it really helps Missouri when Laurie can handle that ball for the simple reason. Look at Jordan. The speed of Jordan. This stuff. Basketball from Hawaii. Tonight, it's the classic championship. The University of North Carolina versus the University of Missouri. And that's not easy to do when you walk into a 
a building like Blaisdell Arena with 7,000 cheering against you, but Missouri showed the necessary maturity to do the job. Now let's side to their big man, Steve Stepanovich. And the big fella, they call him Snipo, has done a tremendous job coming on this year. And I think uh, Todd Sunvold is the other guy, the catalyst of the Missouri team. He's the glue that keeps them together. He did it last year. They won their third Big A championship. So Sunville, Sunvold, Carolina, Michael Jordan. And at guard number 24, starting at forward. Number 35, 6'9 sophomore from Springfield, Missouri, Greg Cavanaugh. At forward, number 44, 6'4 junior from Cape Girardeau, Missouri, Ron Jones. At center, 6'11 senior from St. Louis, Steve Stepanovich. At guard, number 20, a 6'2 senior from Blue Springs, Missouri, John Sunbull. And at guard, number 24, 6'6 senior from St. Louis, Mark Dressler. Norm Stewart will be, and he'll go inside with Sam Perkins to try and battle against Kavanaugh and Stepanovich. Steve, way back in December, was Missouri's first game. Dressler on a drive, beats under the Kavanaugh for the layup. Credit that to Dressler. He made it very easy for Kavanaugh. Now he'll receive two free throws. He can break the tie. Six four junior. We got one. Norm Stewart has not been happy about that at all, but here's Jones hitting both ends, and Missouri goes back to a two-point lead at four two for help. Matt Doherty and the oh what a pass to Jordan! Wasn't that a great pass by Doherty? Matt Doherty made it easy for Michael Jordan to slip behind the zone. Matt Doherty will be tough to keep off the all-tournament team with that kind of throcking him, but they don't have nearly the playing time. Out of the corner, Sunbow ties it up for Missouri. You mentioned the two seven-footers on the bench. As Stepanovich is blocked and fouled by Martin, the big seven-footer draw. Stepanovich is finding trouble breathing in there. He's Sun yeah, Sunbow finds room, though. Johnson that must have not been very complimentary. At least the official fell that way. Norm Stewart comes down, and both of them have a little chuckle over it. Look at that. They're they, laughing here. They compare notes. Outside. I think uh, Stewart must have agreed with him that he was right. Sunbow at the line on the two-shot technical. Any technical on the bench is against the coach. And that's two free throws on technicals. Here's Sunbow, got them both. There's Missouri's biggest lead. Ten, but they really haven't handled the ball that much. Being hopped there by Peterson. Turnaround shot on the inside is hit by Stepanovich. That's his first basket tonight. He's only North Carolina purposely were picking him out to shoot the free throws. And that time it cost them by stepping over the lanes. On defense. Passing inside to Michael Jordan, who gets free. Well, North Carolina is the Sunbowl coming across Missouri with that ball away on the move. Beautiful shot by John Sunbowl. He's got eight points in Missouri. Let's well, Terry Holland's Virginia team won the other game uh, tonight. Back in mainland America defensively. And there's Bridges getting it outside this Stepanovich. Four points for Stepanovich. Man to man. Lob to Bridges for the dunk. Little Bridges, he's the guy we told him. Watch this, timing. Alley-oop to perfection. Easy play of Ron Jones, the free throwing of Kavanaugh down the stretch for two of the big factors. Bridges will get a bonus free throw. This young guy, but here we're still in December, and he's playing. And he just contributed his fourth point, and Missouri has its 14. Sunbowl on the move hitting. Sunbowl has been the guy tonight for Missouri. That's 11 points. Sin back in there. Michael Jordan open top of the circle hits. Jordan six point now. They lob it to Jordan for the layup. That was strictly between Chris Prince Bridges. Bridges driving goes to baseline twisting. A rebound pulled out by Perkins. And they've got the whole tending there. Pretty good cut fast break. Everything but the bucket that time. I don't know what happened to, what happens to him. The crowd's deep, and Gordy's got it for North Carolina. KG player, and Jordan gets a second chance. North Carolina leads. Second time, they to be 6-4. to four. 27 and 26 North Carolina. Dressler driving, and Missouri is back in the lead. First pass get by Dressler. Now we get half minutes to go. Here are the Tigers who get on the seesaw and the lead by one. Two minutes, 15 seconds to go in the first half. Now we're down a minute. Here's the lob in for Dressler for the layup. 
Just around the back door. Boy, these are two. On a shot. Come on. That ties eight seconds. Matt Doherty. Doherty fakes. Gets off the shot. Rebound is by Missouri. And there's the buzzer. And we're all tied up at halftime in a standoff between Missouri and North Carolina. Certainly two of the better player teams in the country. Peace. Remember the score is tied at 31 for Missouri. 11 for Sunbowl. Stepanovich surprisingly limited to four. Cav they got the big guy on Stepanovich. Out of the corner, Sunbowl. He had a hot hand in the first half, and he is fouled now by Perkins. Boy, he tickles the twine from outside, doesn't he? Here's Sunbowl. Deep in the corner, casting off and hitting. All net. Diane and Jones still picked it off. Sunbow. And he again, yes, he does. John Sunbow. He's killing. Who is dominating in the second half from either corner. Look closer than the first battle. Stepanovich, baseline, jump shot, hitting. One of a few times. Only the third basket gets the double team. Weak side of Jones. Now Stepanovich at the free throw line. He hasn't been open that often tonight. But... Here's Chester from the outside hitting. Missouri now warming up over North Carolina. Stepanovich on a fall away the baseline. Marvelous touch by Steve Stepanovich. 43-38 gliding Jordan and it will go and he's fouled on the play. And that's going to be Kavanaugh's third. Uh, maybe it's time. Well, the three-point cuts it back to two now, 43 points to become the second leading scorer for the University of Missouri. And with that marvelous shot, he has got 10 of them on a double team. Under is Dresser. Dresser smelled that zone, and he moved into action. Michael Jordan from the left side. Jordan now has all territory. Jones on the line, two shots. Very smart defensive play against the game against North Carolina. Jordan getting free. Jordan now beginning to go wild. 17 points for the college team. Should he hit around seven? Or a little better. Stepanovich have been in Missouri. They've had their best three years in history. 74 victories. Battle on tight. Michael Walker back in her. Stepanovich, that's why he wants it. Steve Stepanovich. Try to test Sunbowl on the outside. Boy, can he shoot? Boy, he tickled the twine for the first two field goals of this. He hit a shot that beat Arizona State. He misses that one. Arizona State, no doubt, off the bench. 57 to 52, Missouri trying to cut it to three with Sunbowl hitting again. John Sunbowl. Rather, <laughs> and Stepanovich on Doherty. Inside, Michael Jordan hits. Well, Jordan is getting his revenge tonight. He was checked destroying the Tiger. Inside, Kavanaugh gets it back for Missouri. Only the second basket for Kavanaugh, who is a tower of strength on his hand. Rebound is picked up inside. Great feet inside by Walker to uh, Jones, and he scores. Keeping alive, the Tiger hook. I have to try to figure out what time it is back there. It must be around 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, it is quarter. Impressive, but North Carolina is getting their revenge off Missouri. They let Jones take the shot for the Tiger missing. 73 to 58. North Carolina is the winner over Missouri, the third time the Dean Smith Tar Heels have won the Rainbow Classic, and it evens up a score with Norm Stewart and the Missouri Tigers. But you'll be hearing about both these teams. They'll play vital roles in their conferences, the ACC and the Big A before it's over. That's the end of the game. We'll be back with a wrap-up after these messages. Stars like John Sunvold and Steve Stepanovich returning for the 1982-83 season, Missouri coach Norm Stewart prepared his team for a fourth straight Big 8 title run with some tough non-conference games. The Tigers played the defending national champion North Carolina Tar Heels twice and split with NC. They also split with Pac-10 powers Oregon State and Washington. Perhaps the Tigers' toughest non-conference game came on January 9th when coach Jim Valvano brought his eventual 1983 national champion North Carolina State Wolfpack to the Hearn Center. 
Pack may have won the title in 83, but they left Missouri with a loss. Steve Stepanovic scored 10 points, John Sunvolt had a game-high 17, and the Tigers beat the Wolf Pack 49-42. 1983, Missouri and Oklahoma, the Sooners, Wayman Tisdell led Oklahoma with 32 points, but Missouri and Steve Stepanovich, he dumped in 26, and Oklahoma loses in overtime, 84-79, the last time Missouri won here at Norman, and what a great Missouri team that was. With Stepanovich and in 83, the Tigers were at Kansas State with a score tied at 47. Mizzou won its fourth consecutive conference title thanks to the soft touch of John Sunbow. On a bounce to Sunbow with four seconds left. Sunbow fakes, goes up with the shot. It's in! Time runs out! It's in! After Missouri's four-year run as the Big 8 regular season champion. Frank should just be outstanding. John Clockerty, Len Wirtz, and Don Shea are the officials. And the tip is controlled by Iowa. Dave Carp, Iowa, in the first half against Utah State, 39 for the game, and still won it by five. John Sunbull. He is a pure shooter. A lot of people compare him to Willie Smith, who has been outstanding. And just in time as the Tigers make their NCAA run. Sunbull. Boy, does he shoot it quick. I tell you, they'll have to make an adjustment on. Bain Stepanovich. Bain is not as strong as Stokes as Prince Bridges with his first basket of the game. Well, what a difference in the crowd. There's so many people in there. Got those two towers in there do a good job. Cavender with a good move. Left-handed shot. No good. Tipped up and in by Stepanovich. That's his first of the game. He is so tough. He's Stewart, in addition to everything else, used to be an official. That's right. He worked in Missouri Valley. As oh, oh. Hits one. He was a good official. And that's why he worked. That's it. Oh, nice steal by the big man, Stepanovich. Great quickness. Prince Bridges on the drive. Lays it in. It'll count. And he's fouled. Was that special? You talk about an explosion going to the hole. Prince Bridges made that look easy. He does his job as he fronts Stokes. And then Stepo gives up the basketball to Prince Bridges. Watch this as he explodes soft off the glass. Looking on this end of the court, it is, it is Sunbowl all the way. He's got the open shots. They're going to let Jones shoot from out front, and he hits it from 14. Not a bad shooter. More noted for his inside. Hey, Prince Bridges to Sunbowl. Stepanovich. Remember what he did to Ralph Sampson from about that area? Yeah, I'll tell you, 20th, he showed me something. 27 points, 12 boards against Sampson. Guy can shoot it from the outside. Michael Payne. Even though he missed it, it looks good. Look at this, they got a puppy. Great outlet. Cavender slams it. You send your guards to the boards, that's what happens. You give up layups. Norm Stewart, Einstein, and sneakers. <laughs> Wrestler, 15-footer. They finally got a little too impatient, put up the air ball. Cavender with the rebound, left hands it through the hoop. Frank, I can't believe the improvement over this guy. I saw him a year ago and I thought he was lazy. He works so hard now. You can pick on this. The guards go to the board. There's all five black shirts in the paint. And they're going to get the ball down. Now, this is uh, Kavner hustling in here. We'll see that other play. Just hot from the field. We've got a timeout here at Louisville. Iowa by seven. We'll be back. Ball and go to college in Las Vegas, Nevada. I think you'll find it lightning down to eight seconds, seven seconds. Pass taken away by Payne. Three seconds. Half court shot. Hanson. Everything else is falling here. Why not? There's the buzzer, and the Hawkeyes fans love it. So Missouri goes the last six and a half minutes of the first half without scoring. And at the intermission, it's Iowa 32, Missouri 20. Let's go to Brent Musburger in New York. Three out of six from the field in the first half. Stepanovich, who hit only two out of nine. And again, that Iowa zone doing its job, but Sunbull buries one from outside, and that's what they'll have to do to beat this zone. Well, that wasn't easy. Carpino, right having there, can't get it in there. Traffic much too heavy. Frank, it's a green light for Sunbull, and that'll be Norm Stewart. Stewart is intelligent. He knows that's his best bet. The problems is Stepanovich is having to get the ball inside. Sunbold is a veteran of in, uh, international play. Good afternoon. Bridges having trouble controlling the ball. As if Stewart can pull this one out, it would be his 400th career win. Sunbold starting to light it up now. That's three baskets for him. Looking for help. Cavender trapped on the baseline. Carfino went for the steal. That put Jones open from 10 feet away. Their inside defense is seconds left to play in the game. 40 to 29. The Hawkeyes lead it. And they've led since the seven-minute 30-second mark. 
in the first half. Sun Bull has How found tough. the range. How tough was that? Are you kidding me? This guy's something special. Sun Bull with just an impossible shot. Give the foul to Stepanovich instead, and that'll be three on him. Ain't Gannon just having their own way today. Arm Stewart looking for somebody. It's got a hot hand. Moody is a 6'5 sophomore from Memphis, Tennessee, who has been used spot with 13 minutes and 15 seconds remaining. Sun Bowl from 23. Nothing amazing. but the bottom of the net. Well, you talk about a pure shooter. He is amazing. You know, that's not easy to square up on the left side with your body. This guy named Mike Evans just played K-State with the best I've seen. And Sunbull just did that and made it look like Evans. Stokes heading for Iowa. Greg Stokes, the 6'10 sophomore, answers. For the Hawkeyes, he's got 13 during Missouri with a basket of its own. Let's take a look at the passing effort here. Gannon did a great job right there. Outstanding. Gannon Sunbull has scored 11, which continues to have his problems. Actually, He's become invisible here in the second half. He has not attempted a shot in this half. At two out of nine, those are his first half stats. Gannon staying with him the other night when the Greg Grant of Utah State started to kill Iowa. It was Gannon they put on him. Sunbolt buries another one. What a show. This is a Maravich uh, performance. The puppy if they hurry. Stepanovich, good defensive play that time. Down it comes Kavaner. A little bit too much spin off the board. Bull. Arfino picks him up, top of the circle. There's another one. <laughs> I tell you what. I mean, you run out of words, right? Well, you really do. It's a broken record. I think uh, people uh, think. Cavender with the rebound to Sunbull. Carfino with the fake. Sunbull gets it up, and another one. Unbelievable that time. Carfino all over him. Missouri taking some chances. Hanson on the drive, and Cavender fouls him as he scores. shots he's just been unbelievable this half he is eight out of ten in this half the rest of the team is one out of three what? as they go over to the scoring table talk to the official score some question about Hanson uh, coming back into the game unless the Tigers can somehow pull it out Stepanovich with four fouls on him only four points Sunbolt buries another one 25 points He's got 25. Side pain just continues to work over Stepanovich. Sunbull from the corner. Getting a lot of company. Have it there. No, it's Stepanovich with the hook. With the left hand, his first shot of the half. 8.40 to go. Back to an 11-point lead. Kavaner with the left hand. Greg Kavaner with his third basket of the game. These two clubs. In 28 years, back to 1954, Prince Bridges, who's been quiet. What does he explode quickly? And Sunbull with three fouls. Cavender. Oh, he's got, got the shot. shot right there, yes. He couldn't believe he was that open when he turned around. Cavender with his fourth basket. Time for Rutgers. It's another one of those, don't do it, great. <laughs> Big basket, 59-49. Missouri answers. And Stewart wants a timeout. Basket gives him 14 points, and Steve Stepanovich has just wound up his career at the University of Missouri. Not the way he wanted to, necessarily. But Steve, Moore, of course, is going to be remembered by the folks in Columbia for a long, long time for what he's done for that program. All-time leading score, rebounder, four straight Big eight championships. It's unfortunate. And he, you know, he'll be upset today, but I think when he realizes and they they now with 15 points, he's got three rebounds, and he has influenced the direction of several shots on defense. Good move by Prince Bridges. This time Norm Stewart doesn't use the timeout to set up that press. He'll do it without it. His first free throw at 10% shooter. It was dead even. I mean, there were more two points separating these clubs for the first uh, 13 minutes of this game. And then Missouri went seven and a half minutes without scoring a point, leading up to intermission. And Iowa ran up the 12-point lead at halftime. And Missouri's made a mini run at it. And the Hawkeyes, I think, can punch their ticket for Kemper Arena in Kansas City next Friday night, where they will face off with Villanova in one half of the regional doubleheader. And the other half, Houston. And Keith Lee, and you will see that on CBS. It will be our Friday night late game. That's going to be a great, great matchup. 
Lute Olsen had the best mashup zone I've seen this year. 18 points for Stokes. Sunbull parries another one from the corner. That's his 13th basket. Gives him 27 of his team's 58 points. And we've got 158 as he hits two from the line. A minute 15 to go. Tigers not giving up. Oh. Sunbull wrapping up his Missouri career in a blaze of glory here. One more time. 29 points. His career high is 32. And that was against Oregon State. So he is close to Great to see somebody end up unhappy. And Steve is a very unhappy guy. Now Sunbull going out getting a big ovation for the people, both Iowa and Missouri fans. So John Sunbull winds up his Missouri career, covers himself in glory with a total of 29 points. He was Missouri's offense. Now the Hawkeyes. Cavender comes down with it. 75-60. Hawkeyes. Laurie. Not bad. The guy just came off the bench. He's a pretty good shooter. Always has shot well. He's just going to get gets a guy like Sunbold in practice. Said he's a finance major thinking about going to law school, winding up a tremendous four-year career. Number two, score. Just uh, put on a tremendous show in the first game. In this ball game, it's been balanced. Laurie on the free throw line. He hit the bucket just a moment ago. So he's got three points in about 15 seconds. Did everything but go in, didn't it? Ten seconds left. 77-63. Hawkeyes trying to inbound it to King. Up to Anderson. No basket. In a rule basket interference. Brad Lowhouse, who is a big freshman from Phoenix, Arizona. He's a pretty good player, that big seven-footer. Look at that bench. Three seconds to go. Laurie puts it up at the buzzer, and the Hawkeyes win it. An impressive victory for the Iowa Hawkeyes as they move out to a 32 to 20 lead at halftime. And then win it going away, 77 to 63. Stokes wound up with 22 points and five rebounds. Michael Payne with a tremendous defensive job on Stepanovich. And he winds up with a total of 20 points. 77 to 63. Iowa will move on to play Villanova at Kansas City. In the 80s, it was the signing of a big man. Seven-footer Steve Stepanovich, which began the tremendous infusion of talent that made the Big Eight into a premier basketball conference. It was kind of the start of what a lot of people call an era at, at Missouri, and as well as the Big Eight conference in, as a whole. Uh, I was very highly recruited out of high school, and uh, so I came to Missouri with a lot of expectations. Stepanovich, a high school star in suburban St. Louis, was one of a trio of highly recruited big men in 1979. Ralph Sampson chose Virginia. Sam Bowie headed to Kentucky. And after this visit to the Missouri campus, Stepanovich signed with his home state, Missouri Tigers. Basketball really had uh, been very good, but overshadowed by football because football had been so outstanding. Uh, basketball in the 50s and about the mid 50s had the top one and two teams in the country. But since that time, again, football had dominated. And then I think one big man really made a lot of change in the conference, and that was Steve Stepanovich. Stepo and fellow freshman John Sunbold were the cornerstones of Missouri teams that won four consecutive Big A championships and made four NCAA tournament appearances. It was also during the Stepanovich Sunbold years that Missouri achieved its first number one national ranking. You know, it was something that, uh, you know, for us, it being the first time at the University of Missouri and, and uh, Big Eight Conference in a long while that you know, it was. It was a special time and it was, uh, it was actually a lot of fun, but along with that, a lot of pressure. Missouri's recruiting of Stepanovich led to other big men coming into the league. Nebraska brought in seven-footer Dave Hoppen, a three-time all-conference selection and the seventh leading scorer in Big Eight history. Kansas countered with Greg Dryley, who played on KU's 1986 Final Four team. I think when Steve Stepanovich got to Missouri, 
it changed a lot in the Big Eight in that other Big Eight coaches had to go find big people because Steve could dominate. Stepanovich would later become the second player picked in the 1983 NBA draft. The Sunvold Stepanovich years yielded some great stories and laid the groundwork for a storied program with four straight Big Eight titles for the Tigers. His chip was just try to get Missouri into the national picture. Try to get somebody to care that, you know, we've got a program. And as the 1980s progressed, college basketball was putting the NCAA in the money. New network contracts poured millions of dollars into the pot. Missouri, right in the thick of it, was suddenly the show me the money state with a primetime team. I mean, some coaches are afraid to take a game. Norm wasn't afraid to take the game. And back then, to try to get on TV, you might have to go play Georgetown on a Sunday after playing Saturday at Oklahoma State. And we did that. You know, we played Michael Jordan. And then we played Ralph Sampson. And we scheduled Louisville. We did all those things because Norm Stewart thought Missouri basketball should be nationwide. 